Martha, Mary and Lazarus. There was a special family that Jesus really loved. There were two sisters and a brother, Mary, Martha and Lazarus. And they lived in a village called Bethany. And once when they were there, Martha received Jesus into the house and was very, very busy preparing the food. And she came to Jesus and said, Don't you care, Lord, that my sister Mary has left me to do all the work on my own? Tell her to come and help me. Because Mary was sitting at the feet of Jesus, listening to his words. And Jesus replied to her, Martha, Martha, you're careful and worried about so many things, but only one thing is necessary, and Mary has chosen that good thing, and it shall not be taken away from her. So it's more important to give our time and our attention to listening to the words of Jesus than rushing around making sure that everything is perfect in the house uh, and cooking and being obsessed with these kinds of things. We've got so much more to live for than those things. We have to do them, but we mustn't be so caught up with them. There was another time when Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha, was really ill. He was so ill he was about to die. And so Martha and Mary sent a message to Jesus saying, Lord, he whom you love, he's ill. When Jesus heard that Lazarus was so sick, he stayed two days in the place where he was. Now we would have thought, go on Jesus, quick, 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 go there straight away, cure him, stop him dying. But just as with us today, sometimes we pray to God and we expect God to make a quick answer and make the problem disappear, and he doesn't. But you see, he sees things differently. He is wiser than we are. Sometimes he doesn't do it immediately. That's right, because he has a bigger plan. Jesus said to the disciples, Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I'm going that I might wake him up out of sleep. And the disciples said, Lord, if he's sleeping, he'll get better. But Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I wasn't there, so that you might believe. But let's go to him. Then Thomas, who was one of the twins, said to the other disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. Because Jesus had said, Let's go to Lazarus, although he's dead. And they thought Jesus meant, Oh, let's go to the grave. Let's go and kill ourselves. But all the time, you see, Jesus was being misunderstood, just like he is today. And we've got to think carefully of what his words mean. Well, when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had been in the grave for four days already. Bethany was close to Jerusalem, just two miles away, and so lots of the Jews had come to Mary and Martha to comfort them about the loss of their brother Lazarus. Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him, but Mary sat still in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you will ask of God, God will give it to you. Your brother will rise again, said Jesus. Martha replied, I know that he will surely rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So you see, the, the hope of the true believers is not going to heaven when we die, but it is being resurrected at the last day. When Jesus comes back and sets up his kingdom on the earth. That was the hope of Mary and Martha and Jesus and Lazarus. But Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, though he is dead, yet he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will not die. Do you believe this? Martha said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God which was to come to the world. And when she'd said that, she went away and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The Master's come, and he calls for you. As soon as Mary heard that, she got up quickly and came out to Jesus. Jesus wasn't yet in the town, but was in a place just outside where Martha had met him. The Jews then, who had seen her in the house and had comforted her, when they saw Mary getting up quickly and going out, 
They followed her, saying, Ah, she's going to the grave so she can cry there. When Mary had come to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her crying and also the Jews crying that came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled and said, Where have you laid him? Where's the body? They said to Jesus, <clears throat> Lord, come and see. <clears throat> Jesus wept. Now that is the shortest verse in the Bible, that Jesus wept. And the Jews said, see how much he loved him. And some of them said, couldn't this man who opened the eyes of blind people have made just made it so that Lazarus wouldn't have died? Jesus, groaning within himself, came to the grave. So you really see how Jesus was not God. He was the Son of God with our nature. He cried, he groaned, he felt for them. He was upset at the loss of his friend. So groaning inside himself, he came to the grave. It was a cave and there was a stone laying upon it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Then Martha said, Lord, by this time he must be stinking because he's been dead for four days. But Jesus said to her, Didn't I say to you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? They took away the stone from the grave, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me, and I know that you hear me always, but because of the people who stand here I said it, that they might believe that you sent me. And when he'd said this, he cried in a very loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And the dead man came forth, tied hand and foot with the grave clothes, and his face was covered with a napkin. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Then many of the people who had come with Mary and had seen the things that Jesus did, they then believed in him. But some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. How awful people are. Even when they see a great miracle, they just can't accept it and they want to go and make trouble for Jesus. And you'll find that, that no good deed goes unpunished. That when you do something good, you very often suffer for it. And that's one reason why people don't do good deeds, some people, because they know that they're just going to get misunderstood and beaten up because of it. But Jesus kept on and on doing such good things, and so must we. And so the priests and the Pharisees gathered themselves together and said, What are we to do? This man does do lots of miracles. If we leave him alone, everyone will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away our temple and our nation. So you see, they were jealous. And that's why you shouldn't be jealous. Because it was jealousy that led people to kill the Son of God. To kill Jesus when he had done so much good. 